Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to today's gameplay stream. Well, technically this is actually the first of two gameplay streams, even though we're not doing it uh, like I normally do. And I will explain that on the pre-stream here. Apologies that uh, I am a little bit late today, uh, YouTube acting up again. And uh, a, little, a little frustrating in that regard because I like to, you know, get stuff going, get stuff moving. And YouTube would not send out the data to my website to have my website display the live stream so I had to wait an extra 10 minutes and then update it myself manually to get it to even work. Uh, pretty annoying. But, we got lots to talk about on the pre-stream today. We've got updates regarding today's gameplay content. We've got updates regarding the weekend. I've got a huge update regarding my upcoming Fallout 4 coverage for you. So there's tons to talk about on the pre-stream, but before I start, I'm going to blow my nose because it is bothering me. I sneezed right before I started talking. Give me one second here. Let me grab a tissue. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh, get the sniffles out before we play some Halo. Ugh. Ugh. All right, much better. <clears throat> much better. Ah, okay. All right, so a few quick things first before we start talking about uh, the Fallout 4 update that I have for you. Number one, we had an overnight poll to, to determine what I would be playing on today's stream. Yesterday we did the same thing and it ended up being uh, WWE 2K16. Today it ends up being Halo 5 multiplayer, which is fine because I enjoyed both. I enjoyed both playing... The, uh, my career mode in WWE, I'm loving that, and, uh, you know, when I played the Halo 5 multiplayer earlier in the week, I had a lot of fun too, so either way, it didn't matter to me, I was like, hey, whatever, whatever people want to see, and overnight, it was Halo 5 that won out, or oh, abundantly, abundantly won. Okay, so, <clears throat> in that regard, awesome, thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs up, as they say. Uh, I am excited for around two, two and a half hours of Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer. I'm going to be checking out Arena Mode today because I already checked out Warzone. I get the feeling I know what it is. It's just the two teams going up against each other, capturing points and fighting off AI enemies to earn points to win the match. Now I want to play the more traditional gameplay modes. I actually heard there's a, uh, like there's a playlist in Arena Mode that goes basically through every game mode, and I think that's what I might do today. Because it should be a lot of fun checking out all the different gameplay modes uh, of Halo. You know, let's face it. Halo, I think, is at this point is known for its multiplayer. That campaign that we played was pretty disappointing. But I'm certainly hoping the multiplayer is going to be a lot better. Okay? And, you know, I, like I said, I already liked Warzone. So I'm really not too uh, skeptical of it. I think it's going to be a pretty solid, fun gameplay experience today. So thanks to those of you who voted. And thanks to those of you who are here on the stream now. I see more and more people are joining. And uh, the gameplay will resume, with, or will begin, excuse me, not resume, but begin within about 10-15 minutes here as I get through the pre-stream, okay? So, just so everyone knows, quick update regarding everything that's been going on this week. At this point, WWE is going to go on hold. I am planning on returning to it eventually, but right now, for all the new releases coming up, uh, WWE is going to go on hold. I will return to my career, and yes, I will be doing some sim matches, uh, with this version of WWE uh, in the future, but right now, there's not no time for it now, and we're going to put it on hold, alright? Um, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Um, uh, I, I'm kind of torn on this, so let me explain the situation, everyone. Uh, as of last night, when I started to play Assassin's Creed Syndicate, I was in the middle of sequence 7. Now, the game has 9 sequences, and from what I'm going to understand, the, the last sequence is actually pretty short. It's basically just the finale of the game. So, I played Assassin's Creed Syndicate for four hours last night. <sighs> yeah, a ton of gameplay. Way more than I normally would have. And I did upload all those videos to DSP Gaming. Now, if things had gone swimmingly, I would have beaten the game. Here's the problem. Assassin's Creed Syndicate, once you hit the end of Sequence 7, actually forces you to do the repetitive unnecessary side content of the game for around two hours and that is really frustrating i even said in the playthrough why is this necessary why are you forcing me to do the repetitive boring 
just unnecessary side content that I, I skipped. You know, when I was playing the game, I did a story-based side content with Charles Darwin and Charles Dickens and Karl Marx. That was the fun side content of the game. I purposely skipped the repetitive stuff because I didn't think it would be good for a playthrough and I wasn't finding it very entertaining to begin with. All right? So, in that regard, uh, I was having fun with the game and then all of a sudden the game just comes to a grinding halt. You must do all this side content in order to progress in the story. And it, it's unnecessary. It's not like you need the resources or you need the experience points or whatever. I was already over overleveled. I was already just killing everything in combat within a few hits. Uh, and I had the best sneaking ability. So it basically didn't need it at all. Right? I just didn't need it. And it was very much a pain in the And I wasted about two hours. Quite honestly, it was about two hours of gameplay last night. When I could have been moving on with the story of the game and enjoying it. And instead I was doing boring repetitive side content. Because the game forced me to do it. And I hate to say it, it's definitely forced padding. And if anything, I think that the game developers realized that by, by the end of the game that they realized that you didn't have to do the side content at all. That they had put enough into the game that you didn't even have to do it. And so they said, well, we want people to definitely experience it, so let's just force them to do it. Which is bullshit. So, I was very pissed off last night that I set aside all of this time. Okay? I set aside all of this time. To freaking, you know, play the game last night, and two hours were wasted. So, here's where I am. Right now, I'm at the beginning of Sequence 8 in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. From people who have beaten the game, they're saying there's about three to four hours left. I don't have three to four hours. I just don't have it. You know, right now, today, is the release of Call of Duty. And I'm going to be doing that all weekend. We've got Fallout 4 come Monday, Tuesday. And, you know, I'm going to be playing that all week. Right? And then we've got, the week after that, Star Wars Battlefront. We've got the final Game of Thrones episode. Like, we are packed. Oh, by the way, Rise of the Tomb Raider, which I'm not even mentioning because I'm not planning on playing it anytime soon. But you see what I mean. We've got all these games now. And where am I going to get another four hours? So, what well, my plan originally was, was hopefully to either beat Assassin's Creed last night or... After my dinner tonight, because I'm going to play you know, Halo for about two and a half hours on stream now, then I'm going to go on dinner break. After dinner, I was going to play it for about two hours, hopefully beat it. And then tonight at 9 p.m., I'm going to do a premiere multiplayer stream of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So that's next week, okay? Um, or not next week, that's tonight is what I meant to say. That's tonight, around 9 p.m. Yeah, so I hope that if you are interested in Call of Duty, you want to see, gee, what is this multiplayer about? As soon as it goes live tonight... On PlayStation 4, I'm going to be playing it for around two hours. It's going to be about a two-hour preview stream. And then tomorrow, my first gameplay stream will also be the multiplayer of Call of Duty. Uh, hopefully, tomorrow's second stream is going to be uh, the Zombies mode of Call of Duty. Okay? And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, because I'm actually waiting for my friend Koru Chato. He's getting his copy of the game uh, via Amazon. And he's waiting for it to arrive. So once he gets it... He's going to be playing it with me, but he has to physically get the game first in order to play. So he's going to let me know during the course of tomorrow when he actually gets the game, and then we'll start playing the zombies. And we're going to be doing the zombies mode over the weekend, hopefully Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay? So there you have it. That's the plans for Call of Duty currently. All right? So just to re recap, because I'm going to start talking about Fallout 4 now, just to recap, here's what's going to happen. Right now, Call of Duty... Excuse me. Right now, Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer for around two and a half hours. I'm going to try to squeeze in more Assassin's Creed after dinner. I don't know how far I'm going to get, and I doubt I'm going to beat the game at this point. Um, tonight, Call of Duty. Tomorrow, Call of Duty all day, including multiplayer and zombies. And then hopefully zombies all weekend, depending on, you know, how much content there is with the zombies. By the way, I did get the deluxe edition of Call of Duty Black Ops 3, meaning I'm going to be getting all the zombie modes over the course of the year. And yes, I got the bonus giant zombies map. So I'm going to be checking that out too. All right. So that's the rough schedule. As I said, WWE is going on hiatus for a bit. It will come back later. I will resume that playthrough later. I will be doing Sims with that later. And in addition to that, Assassin's Creed, I don't know what to do. It all depends on, I guess, how far I get uh, uh, with it. You know what I mean? If I, if I beat it tonight, great. If not, it's going to have to go on hiatus. And then maybe next week, if finally I'm starting to get a little bit of tired of Fallout one day, then maybe instead of doing Fallout all day, I'll split it and I'll finish up Assassin's Creed. All right? It's just a shame. It's a shame they did that. A terrible game design choice forcing two hours of grinding and repetitive, boring side content. All right. <clears throat> 
All right, everyone. So now, now let us begin. Let us begin with the update regarding Fallout 4. Because a lot of people have been asking questions. Phil, when are you going to start covering Fallout 4? Phil, what version of Fallout 4 are you getting? Phil, 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 Phil. And I know, listen, I'm hyped. I'm excited. All right? I'm very excited with you. With you along with you is what I meant to say. Uh, for Fallout 4. As you know, Fallout 3, one of my favorite games of all time. It was basically the original playthrough that I did, the full playthrough for, for Dark Side Phil, the, you know, my old school channel on YouTube. And it really put me on the map. It's what gave me my original following. And, uh, you know, after that, I just grew and grew and grew based off of all the other stuff that I did. But it really was that Fallout 3 playthrough that originally caught the eye of the viewing public on YouTube. So, obviously, I'm incredibly excited for Fallout 4. And I have a big announcement, something that I've been working on behind the scenes and have not mentioned whatsoever because I did not know if it was going to come together or not. But as of today, I can officially make the announcement on pre-stream for the 300 of you who are here, and I'm sure for people who are going to watch this on demand later. Um, and the announcement is this, I've been working with Machinima, and I've actually been working with Bethesda behind the scenes to see if for the first time ever... I could get a review copy of a game, and the answer is that I have actually achieved it. Um, and I didn't know if I was going to for a while there because I was working with them, and then they stopped talking to me for about a week, and I didn't understand what was going on. Uh, but I am going to get an re advanced review copy of Fallout 4. Now let me explain. All right. Number one. Number one. I don't even know what console I'm getting it for. I don't know if it's Xbox One or PlayStation 4, because I started working on this months ago, and at that point, I don't even remember what I told them. I really have no idea. I, I, I have no freaking idea what, what version is coming, okay? But as of this morning, I got an email from Bethesda saying that they've mailed me a copy of Fallout 4, and it should be here within a day or two, okay? Now, a few things here. A few, uh, a few ground rules and a few things to cover here, Okay? I am going to be getting the game in advance, meaning I'm going to get it this weekend before you can even buy it. But there is a strict embargo that Bethesda has levied against everyone who got advanced copies of the game. And the embargo is that you cannot do any coverage of it, right? No coverage. No social media coverage. You can't even say a word about the game or even reveal a screenshot. Nothing. You can't do anything regarding Fallout 4 until Monday morning. And I think they were like 8 a.m. Eastern time. Something like that. Okay. Um, I don't know. You know, I don't know. Technically, I think I, I, it's in the email. Okay. It's in the email. And the email that they sent me that has all the embargo information. And so you might be wondering, you know, wasn't it, wasn't it funny that a lot of, uh, you know, reviewers... A lot of reviewers who got this game earlier than me, right? There's other YouTubers and reviewers who got, like, the Pip-Boy edition, and they got it in the past week, and they were all doing unboxing videos, right? But isn't it funny that they didn't, um, they didn't uh, do any gameplay footage, right? That's why, because there's a strict embargo. Bethesda outright has said, we don't want any footage of the game. We don't want any coverage of it at all. We want nothing regarding this game once you get it until Monday morning, okay? So, I can't do anything till Monday morning anyway, alright? Now, the bottom line is, I don't know what I'm getting the game. Bethesda told me that it's in the mail. That could mean that I get it today, it could mean that I get it tomorrow, it could mean that I get it Tuesday. So, I could end up getting it super late, in which case, what's the point? But I get the feeling that since it's a review copy, that they probably did send it out, and it probably is en route, and I'll have it within a day or two here, alright? So, I am not... Uh, planning on covering the game, uh, you know, super far ahead of time. I'm not. I wasn't going to. Even if I got the, the game two weeks ago, I wasn't going to. Because I knew that I was going to be busy with all the new releases. And let's face it. I want to play Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 3. I'm dying to play Bla Black Ops 3. And so I want to, at the very least, with Black Ops 3, I want to do lots of multiplayer. So tonight and tomorrow, definitely, I'm doing two solid sessions of multiplayer. And I want to put in some good time with the zombie mode. I'm going to be honest with everyone, okay? I'm going to be very honest. I don't really care too much about the campaign. Um, Call of Duty uh, campaigns at this point are kind of a footnote 
to the multiplayer, and especially with the Treyarch versions of the game, the zombies. Uh, so I'm not too much, you know, too crazy about, oh no, I absolutely have to play and beat the campaign of this game right away. I don't really think it's going to matter that much. I think that the focus is the multiplayer and the zombies, all right, which is what I'm going to be working on all weekend. So, however, <clears throat> however, uh, I don't know when I'm going to start playing Fallout 4 at this point, because I would love to say to you, well, I'm going to start playing it on Monday, so I'm going to basically, you know, have it in advance, but I can't even promise that, because I don't know when this review copy is going to show up. Uh, it could be today, it could be next week, I don't know. So until it actually physically shows up, I can't even start making promises, all right? So I just wanted to let you know, I am getting it. I'm looking forward to maybe doing it a little early, but I don't know if I can or not, all right? As of Monday morning, the embargo's lifted, so everyone can stream it, everyone can upload, so everyone who got an advanced copy, you're going to see all of their videos start coming out on Monday. Boom, boom, boom. I guarantee you people who had those those copies and they already did, like, the Pip-Boy unboxings, they are probably already uploading, or not uploading, but, but, yeah, you know, uploading, but maybe they made the videos, like, private or scheduled, and they're just waiting for that embargo, right? And then once the embargo lifts, boom, all their videos are going to go live, all right? So right now, I can't promise anyone how I'm going to be covering Fallout 4 because I don't know. I won't know until the copy is physically in my hand. Then I can say, oh, okay, well, it's here, so I'm going to play it here and so-and-so and so-and-so, okay? So we'll see. We shall see, okay? Fingers crossed. Um... But what does this mean? You know, and I'm sure a lot of people, I already see people in the stream chat. But Phil has said that people who get advanced review copies are, oh, it's unfair and blah, blah, blah. I agree. I don't think, quite honestly, that anyone should be able to get a game ahead of anyone else. I don't think that a review copy should exist. I think that we should all go in line and go to the store or if what is the digital release or whatever. And everyone should get the game at the same time. And that way, what you get, you won't get people who are rushing to play the game and rush through the game to get a review out quickly for views, right? Because that's what it is. These, these mainstream reviewers will rush through the games, skip half the content, not even do features that are, aren't even enabled yet. Like a lot of these games where online is the main focus, and they're reviewing the game two weeks before it comes out, before the true online experience really launched, right? So it's like, how can you even do that? How can you legitimately do that? I, don't, I, don't, I totally disagree with the practice. <laughs> In this particular case, I wasn't getting the game super far ahead of time. I had no plans to cover it early anyway. And this was just uh, me trying to get a copy of the game and see if I could, if I tried, if I could get it early. And I guess I technically did succeed, although not really, because it looks like I don't even know if I'm going to be getting it ahead of time or not. I have absolutely no clue. <laughs> it was just an attempt to see what could happen. And uh, it seems like I, at this point, because I've been around for so long, I have some clout as a YouTuber, but it doesn't seem to me like it's that much of a benefit, right? I mean, I, I'm getting the copy, but I don't even know when it's coming, so was it really worth the effort? I don't know, you know? <clears throat> so anyway, I will let you know once I have the physical copy of the game, when I'll be playing it. It might be Monday, which would be cool if I could cover a little early for you. And I'm sure people will probably be dying to see me play this uh, over anything else. But I don't know. I don't know if or when I'm going to have the copy. Okay. Um, and I don't plan on me getting review copies in the future. As I said, it really didn't look to me like this was even worth the amount of effort and time. Let's face it. So let's just think about it, right? If I didn't do this, I would have been playing it at 9 p.m. on Monday when it was released digitally. Now I might be playing a slight bit earlier on Monday. It's not a big deal, you know. Uh, I'm not big enough. I'm not big enough, and I don't have clout. You know, I just I I, I could see. I'm sure, who who are these people who had the Pip Boy edition? You know, a week early. That's what I want to know. And you know, they obviously had way more clout uh, than I had, right? <clears throat> so we'll have to see. I don't know. Uh, you know, moving forward, is it even worth? It? Certainly, in this case, didn't seem like it was worth the time and effort. To try to get the advanced copy. Um, and I, it technically isn't an advanced copy. Will I even have it early? I don't know. I mean, at least this, at least I don't have to, uh, I don't have to pay for the games. That's the one, like, the one positive. Although, I already would have. I already did reserve the game and all that. I'm just not going to pick it up at this point. But, uh, 
But I'm excited for, for Fallout 4, obviously. I'm the sun's coming out, and it's annoying me because it's blasting me in the face. I'll have to close my blinds. But anyway, um, I can't... The, the, basically, the, 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 the summary portion here, just to summarize for you. I have no idea when I'm covering Fallout 4 because I won't know until I have the physical copy in my hand. I don't even know what console I'm playing it on because I don't know what copy they're sending me. And, uh... <laughs> I don't even know... Uh, you know, if or when I'm going to be, well, I know, I know if I'm going to be playing it, yes, but I don't know if, when I'll be live streaming it, I don't know any of this, I won't know until the copy's here. Um, there's no reason, I think, for me to really seek these copies in the future, it didn't seem like it was too much, uh, I don't have enough, uh, I don't think that I had enough, uh, clout. To, to get the advanced stuff like other YouTubers. And a lot of people say, Phil, I don't understand. This YouTuber's been playing this game for two days. And I'm like, yeah, that's nice. Well, I'm not them. I don't have some kind of giant corporate backing. And I certainly don't have a PR or, or a management team working for me. I don't make enough money. I don't have enough views. So I do exactly what you do. 99% of the time I'm out there, I'm buying the games just like you. Uh, you know, it's a business cost for me. It's a tax write-off. And again, I don't... I don't agree with people who are getting these games two weeks in advance, playing the shit out of them, rushing through the game so they could do a review. I'm totally against that practice. I don't believe that these advanced review copies should even exist. It's funny, but, you know, some people have been saying to me, Phil, you know, how do you expect to survive when you don't get advanced review copies, when everyone else is getting games, you know? Um, when everyone else is getting copies of the game before you, how do you think you're going to survive in this cutthroat YouTube business? And the answer is, I don't know. I don't know. Because it looks like I can't. Even when I tried, I didn't get the copy, you know, far in advance so that I could play it. Uh, you know, so I don't know. I'm just going to have to keep going forward as usual, you know. But, uh, but I am looking forward to Fallout 4. Maybe there's a chance that I may be able to play it a little early. Uh, but there's no way to know. There's absolutely no way to know. Uh, when I'm going to get it. I'll let you know, obviously, when I do get it. Uh, I can't do any... I can't even take a picture of the box. They even said they don't really want me to take a picture of anything. Which is funny, because you had these people who unboxed the Pit boy editions, right? Uh, but it's like... It is Pit... The Pip Pip... Is it Pip boy No, what is it called? Why can't I not remember what the hell the name of it is? Isn't it the Pip boy I don't even know. I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> What the hell do you call the fucking thing? I don't even know anymore. I don't know anymore. I'm so my my mind is like so scatterbrained because I've been playing so many different games recently, and with everything going on between, uh, you know, st the, the the Halloween marathon and all the games that I've been playing and all that. Uh, I'm just my, my my brain is mush. I know it's going to become even more mush in the next few days, but I'm hoping that once I finally settle down to play Fallout Four next week, that uh, it'll be more. Uh, in line with normality, hopefully. <laughs> All right. All right, everyone. Thank you. Let us, uh, let us get ready for Halo here. Like I said, about two and a half hours of Halo. Uh, I thank you very much for being here. Let's get started. Hopefully it's good. I, I get the feeling it will be. I really do. And, uh, we'll go from there. All right, that is it. Thank you. Let us begin with Halo 5 multiplayer. All righty then.